about six months ago, uh, some friends and I were talking about how February and November are the times of year when you really, really need to go somewhere, at least if you live in Sweden, because it's dark and it's cold and there's nothing fun going on. Like December is also cold, but uh, you have Christmas and all that stuff. So one of those friends has in-laws with an apartment in Spain and we decided that, hey, let's just go there for a week. Turned out to be two of us because the third friend couldn't come. And now we're here. <laughs> And it's kind of funny because I was at my new job for a week and then I went on vacation, which uh, feels like a good precedent to set. You know, you work every other week and every other week you leave the country. But we arrived yesterday and the first day we um, laid in the sun by the pool for a while. We had some really good food. We slept for two hours because the, the plane was insanely early in the morning. And we watched some TV, we chilled out and I just slept for like, well, I probably slept for nine or ten hours and then sort of snoozed for a little bit more and I feel amazing. And this is, was kind of the point of this trip. Like, part of it was sun and warmth and part of it was to get away and do nothing for a week. Unfortunately, that isn't true because I also have to finish some writing today. I have to send off uh, two pieces to two different um, editors, which is kind of the freelancer's life. <laughs> But after that, I'm just gonna do nothing. And I mean, this is my view while I'm working. I mean, really. Actually, never mind the pool. If I just step out onto this little balcony here, I can see the ocean. And you may not know this, but I love the ocean. I love the ocean. I love lakes. I love ponds. I love all kinds of water. And I mean, even if it had just been the pool, that would have been amazing. I, I pretty much, expect to spend a couple of hours in there every day but the ocean i'm by the ocean there are palm trees and sun and it's the middle of november and if you're not from the northernmost part of the globe you won't understand how amazing this is i could sit out here and work if i wanted to actually now that i'm thinking of it i don't know why i'm not sitting out here boom working out here It's Wednesday night. We've been here for three and a half days. Four days, I guess. Um, we just kept doing nothing. Like, sleeping late. Um, eating good food. I've done a little bit of work, as little as I can get away with. Uh, today we went to the ocean. We sat under a palm tree and read. We had planned to go swimming, but there was just way too much seaweed. Um... That we went back, swam laps in the pool for an hour, uh, ate good food, drank some wine. I edited a podcast, watched some TV, knitted, knitted, knitted a little. Um, and my favorite part of all this is just doing nothing, which was the point to just relax and reboot a little. And it's kind of funny because even with all the swimming and walking we're not doing that much but now that I'm talking about it I'm getting tired <sighs> but we're still sleeping a ton and I think maybe it's you know scientifically you're not supposed to be able to catch up on sleep but I think that's more of like you can't catch up on a weekend on a week of no sleep I do think that the body can catch up on relaxing and just sort of reset itself and I think I think that's what it's doing now and I think I needed this and I was in bed by nine <laughs> so 
I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm gonna put my mouth guard back in. <laughs> I got this because uh, I don't grind my teeth as such, but I I squish my jaws together, which gives me headaches. And apparently, it's not that good for the teeth either. So far, the best thing we've got to say is she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> so with that, um, good night.